top of the morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Rightway Options, and this is the morning market preparation video for February 20th, 2019. So those bulls, doggone, they, those bulls just continue to drive forward. There's no fear in this market at the moment. And I honestly, the, the longer this goes, the more uh, cautious I become. And I think it's just because we are so extended in this market. If we take a look at the diamonds here with a weekly, take a look at a weekly chart on the diamonds, you can see that is pretty much a straight up move. We're in our ninth week moving up and no pullback. Now, even in 2017, in that remarkable rally of 2017, we didn't have um, a period like that. So we want to keep that in mind. And as we approach this resistance level in the market, we want to be very, very careful and be careful not to overextend um, your stay in a position. For example, it, it may be time to start taking some profits. It may be time to start uh, reducing um, um, the number of positions that you hold as we approach these resistance levels. I am not in any way, shape, or form going to say that this chart is bearish because it is not bearish, but there is reason for caution as we approach those resistance levels. So be a little bit careful not to chase too many entries this late in this rally and maybe think about raising a little bit of cash um, in your in your portfolio, just being a little bit more careful and cautious in case we do start to move uh, to the downside. Now, I think what's going on here is certainly the market is pricing in the the potential good news of a deal with uh, China on the trade negotiations. Now, my concern is that as we continue. Uh, to march forward here. I think we're pricing in that potential good news, which means any kind of a, any kind of bad news that comes out of the negotiations, if there's any kind of a news release that gives us reason for uh, that, that expectation of a deal to stumble or um, an, even an extension um, of, of that deal um, may create a bit of a problem here for the market because we may have already priced in the good news. So watch that closely. Um, don't be fearful of the trend. The trend is still bullish. It is still up. There's no question about that. But be a little bit cautious about overextending yourself in this move. Right now we have this major resistance level right up in here. Let me pull this back just a little bit more. And you can see all this price action located right in this area that we have to pay attention to. Now, we certainly can move a little bit higher before we really smack into that level, but we're just pushing up there really, really um, strongly toward that resistance, so watch that closely. The same thing is true of the SPY, and I think the SPY is even a little bit more dangerous in the sense that we have a major, a really big level of resistance here. And as you can see in this area between that red and green line, we have a significant level of resistance with a triple top high here providing uh, that resistance. So we still have room to move up into there. That doesn't mean that uh, just because we have resistance doesn't mean that we should um, just scream and, and run for cover. It just means it's time to be a little bit careful, um, not to chase too many entries, be a little bit cautious as we move into those resistance levels. Let's take a look at... Um, the cues. Now the cues also struggling here just a little bit as we push up toward this resistance right here, that price resistance right there, just been kind of dancing around here struggling. One thing you'll notice is a theme through all of these charts, and I'm not a big volume follower, but as we move up here, the longer we move, volumes have been declining so we might be running out of a little bit of that upside momentum and just working uh, toward these resistance levels so watch that close as we move up so we have a clear on price divergence with volume here and that should raise a little caution as well in um, in your thinking about the overall market let's take a quick look at iwm iwm rallying up IWM now doesn't have the exposure 
to China negotiations like um, the other indexes. And the reason is most of these companies are domestic companies and not um, international um, sellers. They're mostly domestic. So as we look in here, we're pushing this resistance level and have stayed very, very strong in IWM. But I would watch this level pretty closely as we push that uh, and, and run into that resistance. Just watch it close. And this morning, and by the way, if we take a look at the moving averages, you can see we're pushing up here toward that 200-day moving average, which can be a natural resistance level. It doesn't mean that it has to stop. Uh, it's just a moving average. It doesn't has to, have to stop that. But it's just another one of those clues that we may be approaching uh, a bit of an overbought condition here in the market so we'll want to be a little bit careful just a little bit cautious don't want to overextend ourselves by chasing too late in this rally now this morning we're looking at just a modestly lower open this morning not much of anything as a matter of fact about 20 points down this morning the bulls just want to continue to hold on and um, that could certainly change even more based on earnings reports coming out this morning so we'll talk about that in just a second let's take a look at the vix 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 is showing no fear no fear at all in this market and moving uh continuing to move lower breaking through breaking down this support level right here in the chart moving down below and by the way that's a fairly significant support level it goes way back here um, breaking down and showing no fear in the market we do have a little bit of price support um, right through this area right in here so we'll have to kind of keep an eye on that area right here see if that provides a little bit of price support after such a long move down or excuse me, a long move up in the market, a long move down in the fear uh, of, of the VIX, we could, um, you know, just see any kind of move up, um, raise that little elevation of fear here in the market. But if we continue to drift lower, no problems here whatsoever. There's no clue in the VIX chart yet that fear is creeping into the market. So no particular worries there at all. If we look at T2122, and you guys know I T2122 is pretty important to me. Um, and, and I got to tell you, um, in all the years I have been trading, it, it, it's possible that this has occurred, okay? But I don't remember a time when I've seen um, this indicator, T2122, um, this elevated for this long. Normally, we move up here, we move up into this area. We can linger there for just a little while, but then we start moving back down. And I have not seen an occasion, even in even in 2017 um, when we just everyone was saying oh this rally is ridiculous there's no way we can keep going up never saw this condition here in t21 22 so it's odd and i'm not exactly sure what it means but um, i would tell you that this does raise a little caution level for me and um, suggesting that a pullback could come at any time and because we're so elevated um, any kind of a pullback could become pretty severe uh, quickly so be careful about not being overextended we don't want to catch that one day where all of a sudden we get stopped out on a bunch of positions and by the way there's nothing fancy about this if you notice right here it's just the four week new high new low ratio and we are very very stretched in that ratio right now so kind of keep that in mind let's take a look at um that economic calendar for today economic calendar we do have an issue on here that we have to worry about and there's actually a news report i saw out this morning where folks might be a little bit extra sensitive to the fomc uh, minutes so keep that in mind that's about the only thing on the agenda today that would be a concern now what can happen and since where the market is up so far and pushing resistance levels keep in mind that we could see light and choppy price action today as we head into that earnings event or not that earnings event the the minutes um, release and then after the minutes release we could see a little bit uh, a spike in volatility so we'll want to kind of keep an eye on that 
And again, don't be too surprised if we see kind of a light and choppy day as we lead up to that minutes release. Alrighty, have a big day on the calendar tomorrow. We'll have to kind of keep an eye on that as well. Let's take a quick look on the earnings side of things. We have um, nearly 190 companies reporting earnings today. A considerable number of those, you know, coming out this morning. So we'll want to pay attention to those earnings reports as they begin to roll out and uh, watch those results and watch those that futures price action as they continue to roll out today. So with that, everyone, hey, I want to wish you all a fantastic day. I want to wish you great profits. And if this is the first time you've seen these videos, please do me a favor. Click that subscribe button on YouTube. Follow me button on Facebook. Click those thumbs up buttons and leave a comment. That truly helps a ton. And thank you so much for those of you who do take the time to leave that comment. You know, guys, the purpose of these videos when I started doing this was to help other traders do a little bit better job with their morning preparation. And I know that preparation is critical to me. And if you find that important for you as well, if you find that being helpful to you to kind of look over the market, kind of determine where the support resistance levels are and prepare for the day, if you find that important to you as well, please do me a favor. Share this video with other folks, other, your, other trader friends so we can continue to grow this channel and try to help more and more traders do a little bit better job. Um, despite that, there's tons and tons of free education on this channel. I don't hold anything back. I really do try to help um, as many folks as I can. You know, after doing this for so many years, almost 30 years um, trading, 14 years full time, um, it's just one of those ways that I get an opportunity to give back and help and and uh, share with others some of the uh, some of the major struggles that I had as a trader coming up and hopefully uh, collapse some of those time frames for other folks. So thank you for those who take the time uh, to watch these videos and, and follow through. Now with that, let's take a look at some charts that are still setting up and I'm gonna show you the majority of them are really good chart setups for potential long positions. Let's take a look at a chart like WWE. WWE, World Wrestling, you can see nice trend up breaking through this price resistance up here I have a price alert anytime you see one of these little pink lines on here that's a price alert on the chart and I like this move up and little pullback to test this support area so any rest or consolidation across here uh, that kind of moves sideways and holds above that support level could certainly provide a nice entry into that trade and honestly it would be very very similar to this price pattern right here just break through that resistance, move sideways, and then move on higher. So we'll wanna watch WWE here, very nice looking chart. I really like Target here as well. Target moving up um, nicely here. I, I'm sorry, I'm on a two day chart. What in the world am I doing here? And on that chart, you can see a nice, nice move here holding on to its trend and we have an open gap here that could um, easily be, be filled if we pop on out of there so some of those retail stocks trying trying to show a few signs of of movement uh, back up and a nice gap fill potential here on target so might want to keep an eye on that momo yesterday momo had a beautiful breakout yesterday nice bullish candle popping through my alert moving on up really Really like that chart that's looking pretty darn good any any uh, if you don't want to chase into this or whatever any rest pullback or consolidation in here waiting for the next entry into the trade is certainly acceptable and I think this is a buy signal all day long um, in that chart as well so really nice looking chart um, very much like um, CCL. CCL, um, it was one I mentioned yesterday as a possibility to keep an eye on. Breaking its downtrend, moving through this price resistance. Beautiful pop out here. Um, don't be too surprised to see this do a little bit more sidestepping here um, over toward the trend, but um, I would look for CCL to move on higher. I'm keeping an eye on Apple as well. Apple, in a very, very 
very tight consolidation. I call this a pop out of the box pattern. I actually have a full class on pop out of the box if anyone is interested. But the pop out of the box pattern is that really, really tight consolidation within a trend. And what we have to do is wait for that um, to either prove that the bulls are going to support it or the bears are going to sell off into um, that pop out of the box it gives you a very tight entry into the trade uh, meaning a, a very low risk entry into the trade so apple definitely setting up for that pop out of the box pattern and one to pay attention to so with that everyone hey i want to wish you once again a very profitable day be a little bit careful be a little bit cautious um, as we move into that resistance level make sure you're protecting your capital and doing your job as a trader you know one of the things I always do is as we move toward resistance I'm always wanting to be more of a profit taker than adding risk so think about that in your portfolio protect yourself and I want to wish you all great success everyone take care have an awesome day we'll talk to you all very very soon bright and early Thursday morning